Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Ask Evan, the only Ask series on YouTube where you ask the questions and I give you puns. Let's get started. Any emails to Savannah lately? Yes, as much as I thought it was finally free from the name Savannah, and I met the guy that sent me the emails at VidCon this year, still just got one last week, I will never not be Savannah. How's your eye? So yesterday I woke up and for some reason I couldn't see much out of my left eye, like everything was hazy, so I went to the optometrist and they sent me to the hospital because I had a slice in my cornea and I was freaking out. Turns out by the time I got to the eye hospital, everything was fine. I healed up really well. And for some reason during that whole part, my microphone audio died out, so if you want to see some fun eye bloopers with a special guest, just wait till the end. When will the Sitsy Vlogs be up? Well, by the time you're watching this, you can click right here and watch a playlist of all the ones that I currently have up. At this point, I just have Creator Day up, but the next two should be coming out really shortly, and by the time you're watching this, probably right now. So go on. Have you ever told a lie so that you could stay home from school one day? For the most part, I had perfect attendance all throughout my school life, but there was this one day, this one day in second grade, when I just wanted to see if I could do it, so I told my babysitter I was feeling really sick and I just couldn't go to school that day, and when the bus came, picked up my brother, and then I just sat there realizing, oh my gosh, I have nothing to do but watch TV, and I couldn't like go see my friends and learn because I actually liked school. So I ended up crying a whole lot until noon came by and she like drove me off to school. And then I never missed another day of school. <laughs> I am the lamest. Can you make a pun about ostriches? I feel like there's not a really good salad pun with them, so I'll stretch one out for you. <laughs> Will you come to Russia? Moscow about next year. Maybe. Cringe yes moment from Sitsi. There was this one girl that came to the meet and greet line with Dodie and I, and she came up to me and she said, Evan, I like your videos. Three years ago, you used to hit on my sister online. That was, that was fun. She actually was able to capture me hearing the news and then breaking down with pure cringe. That was really bad. I found her sister on like Tumblr one day and I was like, she has a great face. I'll just follow her, tweet her every once in a while. Never got that follow back. I just, it still makes me cringe. So awkward. That's so awkward. Merch from Sitsi be available to buy for people that didn't get to be there? Yes, actually, as I speak, you can click this link right here or go to the link in the description to my merch site where you can get this lovely tank top. This is my tank top. That's why I'm wearing it. I really love it. I also have a remake of this original shirt, which is my asexual scale demisexual shirt. Some say my love is imaginary. I think it's just complex. I really love it a whole lot. And I also have new black wristbands, literally so much merch. And lastly, one of my favorite things of all is the pun poster with 25 of Evan's worst puns. Just uh, to read one of them, one of my favorites is, I feel really bad for that guy's upper legs. I sympathize. <laughs> and all the puns that are on that poster are puns that I've tweeted over the course of the last year, so I really hope you like it. Have you ever fanboyed over meeting another YouTuber? Yeah. That's why they'll never tweet Who's me. the most famous person you've ever met? I really feel like fame is subjective, so it means different things to different people, but probably, objectively, the person that's most well-known in the world that I've met is Mark Ruffalo, who's the guy behind the Hulk. Met him at VidCon this year. That was, that was definitely not a Ruffalo moment for my life. Mark my words. <laughs> if you weren't doing YouTube, what career could you see yourself in? Well. I know I do YouTube quite a lot, but I also have a full-time job as head of user acquisition for an app. So, I mean, I'd be doing the career I'm doing now, which is marketing. What's your favorite television show right now? Well, I just finished watching all of Steven Universe, so that's over. So, I don't really have one that I'm watching at the moment. Can you say the letter M without your lips touching? M. Oh! One thing you'd change about the UK. Definitely the immigration policy. I can make a full video on how much I hate the immigration policy and how it affects me and stresses me out on a daily basis, but that'll be for a different video. What was your favorite song slash scene from the Book of Mormon? I really loved You and Me, but mostly me, and for some reason the whole time the lead character was singing that song, I just pictured it being John Cozart. I just, that's, I don't know, he just somewhat reminded me of John. Why so hateful of Nikons? Nikon tell you, because I just, I just don't like them. I don't know, you're either a Canon person or you're a Nikon person. There's no in between there. Have you got your 100K YouTube plaque yet? Yes, I've actually had it for quite a long time. It sits in the back of my videos over there on that chair. I don't know, I don't want to hang it up because I feel like it'd probably fall. There it is, shiny, looks nice. Let me move out of frame. Ooh, it's so nice. Do you eat macaroni and cheese with a spoon or a fork? Who would eat it with a spoon? It's not soup. Say something Swiss. Cheese. First pun that pops into your head. Goat. I mean, that's not even, it's just goat. What? <laughs> What's the coolest thing you've ever been given by a subscriber? What's the weirdest thing? I think for both of them, they'd just be cactuses. Do you know how many freaking cactuses I got at Sitsi this year? Like, it's, it's not funny. How am I supposed to transport them home without getting hurt? They're triggered. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> What's your dinosaur of the day? Yoshi. I will destroy you at Smash. How's the scary neighbor doing? Hey Dodie, how's the scary neighbor doing? You heard her. 
<laughs> Our scary neighbor is rarely home, like she literally comes in once a month to just pester us. She's literally our period. Have you ever used a Lush product? I've definitely used a couple when Dodie buys them and then they're in the shower and I'm like, hey, daddy-o. I feel like whenever I use Lush products, I end up coming out of the shower smelling like Patty Walters. Do you still have the piss cup? That is an old reference, but yes, the piss cup is under the boomerang over there in the back of all my videos. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. That's okay. What would you say to someone who wants to move to England in the future? It's hard as heck. You will be full of stress. Oh my gosh, read everything. It's, uh Do you like Chinese food? Ooh, don't ask me that question. Latin. <laughs> I can't even continue with this. Yes. <laughs> I just hit my dick. Ow. What album would you recommend at the moment? Well, if it's besides 21 Pilots, which is the main thing I've been listening to for the last couple weeks, it'd be Supermodel by Foss of the People. It's just a really solid album. I really like the tunes. It's very catchy and the songs get stuck in my head a lot. What was your favorite moment of Sitsi this year? My favorite moment was probably the last five to 10 minutes when they were trying to kick everyone out, but Dodie and I were like, oh my gosh, we haven't gotten to meet these people yet. So we ran out. We just started taking pictures with everyone trying as fast as we could. And in the end, right before they kicked everyone out, we did get a picture with everyone that was in that group. So that made me feel a lot better because even though I did like three or four different meetups, it still just wasn't enough, and that's very lovely and humbling, and thank you so much to all the people that came up to meet me. Make a 21 Pilots pun on the spot. Tyler Joseph was having this nightmare, and Josh Dunn runs up to him, and he's like, oh my gosh, this is crazy witch, and she's shooting laser beams out of her eyes. We have to, we have to stop her. So Tyler goes to him, and he goes, help me pull her eyes out. Help me pull her eyes. The... <laughs> I'm done. Well, that does it for this episode of Ask Kevin. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up below. Otherwise, I make new videos every Sunday, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I make a new video. Thank you so much for watching, though. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. I'm gonna have a rough time filming with that dog barking the whole time. Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Ask Evan, the only Ask series on YouTube where you get the questions and I get the pawn your mom. Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Ask Evan. Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Ask Evan, the only Ask series on YouTube. Ask series. That's right. It's all about that butt. Hello everybody and welcome to the next Ask Evan. I guess I'm a fast healer. No. Oh, there are, but I've done like all of them already. I ended up looking up online all the issues that could have happened with a sliced cornea, and then I browsed the internet. Did you lash out because you were angry? I didn't know. I didn't lash out. <laughs> there was a little bit of pain. Eyelid. Oh, okay. Anymore? No? Oh, come on. She's not really good at puns. She's just my pupil at the moment. Just working oh, on it. Oh, that was very good. It was a bit corny, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do them as good as you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Oh, um... You're behind me and you're not really in the light. I shadow you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go, I have, like, a word, but uh -huh. I'm just trying to fit it into something. Mm -hmm. Um... No, never mind, it's gonna be really bad. Yeah. So Your bad puns are kind of cataracting mine. I'm okay. leaving. <laughs> oh, yeah.